Okay, today I'm going to uh, hack this old police radar. It's an old X-band radar gun. And what I'm going to do is uh, open up the back here, figure out uh, where the IF output is, and then wire it into uh, this computer over here for uh, some data analysis using the sound card. Alright, so I'll take the cover off this thing. As you can see, um, there's a little board in here, and here's the uh, microwave oscillator, and there is the uh, mixer in effect. And so this oscillator uh, actuates the diode on this mixer, also radiates out here where there's a horn antenna that's flared out the front. Now, uh, looking at the wiring, you know, we only have a few wires here, but it appears as though the black here and the black here, which also feeds to this white wire here, the white, the black, and this metal wire here, this uh, uninsulated wire, these are all ground. The, uh, the uninsulated wire is actually a shield. The green, believe it or not, is plus 12, and the red uh, is actually um, the product detector output. Okay, so now let's test that theory, see if we're correct. Over here we have the uh, the uh, radar gun plugged into a 12 volt bench supply. And over to my left we have an oscilloscope. So let's throw on the power, see what happens. Okay. Now if we look at the oscilloscope, we take the radar up here, and you wave your hand in front of it. We're definitely getting reading Doppler. Okay, so next step is we got to make a little audio adapter for this thing. Uh, hook up power supply, and then uh, take it out to the field for some tests. Okay, so before I do anything, I want to check the current draw to see if I can possibly run this thing off of uh, normal batteries. So if you take a look, we're drawing about a half amp, so uh, it may not last too long off of double A's, but we'll give it a spin. Okay, so I built this uh, chassis here with battery packs, power switch, and a light, and uh, audio output to the computer. It's real simple, but it'll allow this uh, whole thing to be moved around for some field measurements. Alright, so here is the box with batteries to control this thing. So you turn on this switch, and now we have power to the radar. And if we connect to this audio plug, you can see on the scope over here that we have Doppler. So we'll take it. Okay, so now we got the radar deployed all the way down a road, and uh, we'll measure the Doppler of some traffic that passes by. Okay, so we have a couple of cars coming by, there's some coming up. And some coming down. Yep, yep. I see that one on the computer. And here comes the other one. And there's a Mercedes over there. Let's see which one has the higher cross section. The Jeep, the Mercedes, the F-150, and the Kia. Okay, so here we are. We're going to try to measure the velocity of uh, some seagulls. All right, let's see how fast that one's going. I wonder if we could detect them all the way out there. I guess we'll find out.
He's coming back around. <laughs> Look at there's another one right there. It's incoming. All right. <laughs> All right, here's our one. <laughs> it's just oh yeah, there's a boat out there. Well, this is good because this guy is going outbound, so you really get an idea of how fast he's going. And now he's gliding. And right above the water, you get a uh, sea clutter image there. All right, well, let's see what the speed of this outgoing boat is. Cool. Okay, <laughs> so here we've got the radar deployed in a parking lot here. And I'm gonna go uh, run down there and then run back. Okay, so hand you the camera. Let's turn the power on. And, and yeah, it's right, right? 